Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you? Are you good? Good. I hope the answer to that was yes. If not, hopefully this video will cheer you up. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me chit chat. I just talk about so much random stuff, truly so much random stuff. You guys know how I am with get ready with me's, but I also did kind of walk you through how to do this eye look. I never do crazy eye looks anymore. So I thought since we're all in quarantine, why not have fun with it? So if you guys want to listen to my brain process and things that I think about, keep on watching. And if you want to know how to do this eye look, also keep on watching. Okay, let's just get right into it. Comment down below if there's any new products you guys have been loving or like, what have you guys been doing on quarantine? Like, are you like living your life? Like, how do you live your life from your fucking bedroom? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't know. I quarantine myself a lot <laughs> in like real life. So it's like, whatever. I think I'm actually going to talk about products today. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation because I don't know. I've been like obsessed with this foundation lately um anastasia can you like fix your pump my pump always gets like stuck it's like so annoying i think i'm gonna do like a sunset look today like a really cool sunset look with pinks and orange maybe i'll do like a cut crease with like a yellow and like a blue liner or something like an ocean sunset what states are you guys in what is happening where you guys live you guys know that i live in florida it's like not as serious here like okay it is serious here and like people are like freaking out and like my job is closed and stuff like that it's like not how it is like where i'm from in new york like in new york like everything is closed down and apparently you can get in like a lot of trouble for driving if like you're not going out for like necessities which to me is like insane literally what the heck like that's so scary that's actually crazy i just want everyone to like be safe but what's it like where you guys live in florida like stuff is closed but like it's like not really slowing anybody down i feel like i know that they just closed the beaches because people were like coming here on break and shit like go home you do not need to come to Florida for like a spring break moment when there's a pandemic happening. And what are you guys doing to fill your time? Like, what are you doing to like fill all of this boring time? I mean, yeah, like I can like film videos and stuff, but it's like maybe like clean the whole house. Like I cleaned the whole house yesterday. Oops, I like forgot to film me starting to bake, but what else do you guys think this is gonna go on longer than like two weeks like my job is closed pretty much until april 1st but like i feel like there's no way like that's in like what like five days and like florida isn't even fully closed down yet like they're not ordering like a mandated like only essential businesses thing so i feel like what the heck is like going on because there's no way if evie can still go to work evie works at a smoke shop if you've watched my channel before you know that if you hadn't really watched my channel now you know she works at a smoke shop and she's still working so like there's no way that this will all be figured out in five days and like what i'm supposed to go back to working retail i don't know i just like don't know how this is gonna like work for people and i feel mostly bad for like small businesses, people have literally lost their jobs, like servers and stuff like that. Like they don't have a paycheck. Like businesses don't pay servers and like bartenders and shit when they're not working. Like not everybody is so lucky. I don't know. You have to count your blessings if you are having like a paid leave and like you're getting help because a lot of people don't have that. And that's really scary. Like people can't sustain for a month time span like what are people gonna do for bills like i don't i just don't know like what the plan is for all of this like nobody does like even the government doesn't like they said they're gonna help people out with money but like a thousand dollars like i get it but like where's all that money coming from anyway like you know what i mean like isn't that just all of our own money that like we pay for taxes and stuff and then it's like, what are we supposed to do? Like put a hold on everything? Like, I don't know, like it at least closed down and stuff. 
at this point they had said that like it doesn't uh like affect young people as much but now i'm reading things that are saying that like young people are like getting super super ill and it's like super dangerous it's like either everyone closes everything down and everyone stays home and the economy suffers like crazy or everybody just acts fucking normal and then it's like everyone acts normal and then what is the mortality rate isn't it like two percent or something like four percent i think it's two percent two percent of 300 million people that's like like a million people are gonna die more than a million people are gonna die so it's like there's no way to like handle this properly okay anyway i'm done talking about all of that because i just like don't want to like everyone hears about it everywhere and i like want my channel to be like a fun escape so let's talk about the makeup look and like let's just go back to like basic bitch shit because like you know what i mean we already hear enough about it so just be safe wash your hands take care of yourself social distancing actually quarantine like it's literally just quarantine yourself because there's nothing else to do like what are you gonna do go on public why would you do that you know what i mean so just take care of yourself so anyway let's talk about my most recent video i like uploaded it and like people like don't care and somebody made a comment to me on that video that really stood out to me and i kind of was like he commented and he said okay well is your new way of thinking gonna pay the bills and i just want to make something very clear i love youtube i love it as a hobby if I could ever make it something that isn't a hobby and I can actually make it something that I could like live off of and like it could be my job, that would be the literal dream. Like I would be so happy, but I do this for fun. Like I do this as something to do with my life. Like I love you guys. I love everything about YouTube, but I am not going to be somebody that compromises what I want to say or what I want to do in risk of not paying the bills. No matter how large of a following I get, I will never do that. I think that is so, it's like, it's embarrassing. Like to me, it's just embarrassing. Like you are going to compromise your values and what you believe and who you are as a person because you're concerned about paying the bills. To me, like, I just think that's the most ridiculous thing. Like, if I have to be fake and unauthentic to pay the bills, then, like, I don't want to do YouTube. Like, the whole point of me doing YouTube and the start of it was to have a way to express myself. Like that was the whole point of it. It wasn't to get into it to make money. It wasn't like, yeah, you can set goals for yourself and being monetized was a goal of mine. That doesn't mean that that's like my end all be all and like I will do anything to get to those goals. Not gonna do it. And I don't know, that just like took me off guard. I don't know, like what do you guys think about it? Like. A lot, like all of you guys were like super supportive but it's sometimes it's like it's almost like people like don't care what i have to say unless it's like something sexy like and i know it like i know that sex sells and like i get it like i i really really do like i love being sexy i love being hot like i love feeling good but like that's so true like that's really just like what does it like how to look like a bimbo got so many views my cucumber video got so many views how to talk got so many views any thumbnail that I put out with my boobs out versus a thumbnail without my boobs, significantly more views with boobs out, hands down. Not a doubt in my mind, to be honest. Which is like fine, I get it, but it's like I want to have like more substance than that. I don't know, you guys know when I do these videos, I literally just ramble and just like talk about life. I don't even know. Like there's no thought process to it. It's just like talking. And that's kind of why I like filming these is because there's no like pressure. I'm like obsessed with a thin brow. Like you guys know that I'm obsessed with a thin brow, but like this is truly something else. Like tweezing my brows and getting them thin. I'm like, ooh, 
it's a i swear to god thin brows are like coming back not like thin like they used to be like there's a difference between like a 90s thin brow and like a 2020 thin brow there's a big difference also like for the longest time i never carved out my brows like anymore but i've been obsessed with underneath with concealer i have to pull this closer i like have to see what's going on underneath with concealer oh my god the crispness of it i'm like in love with it again when i'm doing like a look full like beat moment it's just everything it's everything and faux freckles are you joking me baby i live breathe and die for a good faux freckle moment i think i'm gonna do some today i just think it's like the cutest little thing and i love my freckles but then when i put on makeup a lot of times they go away and like i want them out you know I literally in the beginning of this was like, maybe I'll talk about products. So basically I've used um, Anastasia Dip Brow, Goof Proof Benefit, Hula Bronzer, Lorac Bronzer, um, and then I used Jeffree Star Setting Powder. That's all that I've put on my face thus far. So what kind of makeup have you guys been obsessed with? Like, is there anything new that I like need to buy? Like, is there anything that's like really good? Like, I feel like I haven't found anything in a minute that i'm like if i find something I'm like oh that's really good like this jeffree star powder super good in morphe lip liners i've discovered those recently and they're insane four dollars and they are like honestly like the best lip liners i've ever used like not even joking so if you haven't used them you shouldn't use them four dollars are you kidding me like anybody can afford that and they're just like such good quality Okay, just look at how crisp that looks. Like, I'm down for a good natural brow moment, a natural face moment. Not a full coverage, not a full bake, not a full contour. Like, I wear that actually 90% of the time. But I will say that, like, if I'm gonna do a full eyeshadow look, I'm going to, like, do a full face. Like, it's always weird to me if I see someone with, like, a light coverage foundation but like a full lash a full eyeshadow like a cut crease like a whole moment and i'm like what is going on like did you just not have time for the rest oh my god look at those brows so good okay guys so i'm gonna go in with the new jacqueline hill 2 palette with morphe You're gonna tell me that that's not fucking beautiful. I'm just, it's gonna be insane. I'm literally, like, we're about to do a full beauty guru moment. So, you're welcome, honestly. So, I'm gonna do a sunset look. So, we're gonna do oranges, pinks, purples, and a yellow, and then, like, a blue liner. Like, I'm going, like, full force, like, crazy. So, I'm gonna go in with positivity. Haha, <laughs> good one. Jacqueline. And I've never used this palette before, so let's see how that goes. Oh. Okay, sis. I see you. I see you. Oh my god, you know what's been horrible about this whole quarantine thing? I'm like, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. And then I'm just like talking about it. It's like hard not to talk about it. Like that's like what's happening in life, you know what I mean? That's like the full moment. That's like the reality. That's like what's current, baby, is online shopping. Like, it's just out of control. And then I'm gonna go in with my man we're gonna throw just orange it's like a straight orange color we're gonna go in with that right here so now that we have this like bright orange through here we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a full pink moment like through here i'm gonna go in with tipsy girl like a it's like a bright fuchsia back when i used to do crazy eyeshadow looks and then i kind of gave up on it because i just kind of felt like very drag queeny when i would do them 
But you know what I have to say about that? If you like to do something, just do it. Like, I would never, like, want to wear this day to day, but it's fun. Like, makeup is supposed to be fun, you know? Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, then I'm going to go in with Not My Journey, which is, like, a deep purple, which is, like, pretty bold of me to go in with such a big brush. And then I'm just gonna kind of take this, even though this isn't a packing brush, and I'm just gonna like pack that purple on the lid, like so. Perfect. Now that it kind of looks like that, the pink is like in there, but it's like still not too crazy, I love. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with a cut crease, which, I like never really cut my crease. I like never do like a full eyeshadow look like this. So this is a first for all of us. Okay, honestly, I'm not mad at it. Okay, now that my crease is cut, I have a very fun idea. I have such a good idea. The Alyssa Edwards palette, and I'm going in with this color, which is Brick Road, the yellow Brick Road. Zah. So I'm going to take this yellow. Like so. Ooh, there we go. That is what I'm wanting. For some reason, it's like harder for me to like do this eye. Like it's easier for me to like do my right eye. Like, and it's like foggy when I like look at this eye through my right eye. I think I'm like half blind. Okay, I'm joking. I'm like not really half blind, but like perfect. So now that you have the yellow on, I'm gonna go in with my conspiracy palette. I'm gonna pop a little bit of food vibes on top of this yellow, just towards here. And I'm gonna put trash right in between the yellow and that purple. I think that'll really just like blend the whole look together and I think it'll just gonna look so good. I think it'll look so, so good. I'm just gonna wipe off my bake quick just cause I don't want it to sit for too long. So this is where we are so far in this eye look. I know that it's missing something. I haven't figured out what it's missing yet, so let me know if, if you know. I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn palette and I'm gonna take some of that positivity that was in my crease and I'm just gonna throw some on underneath my eye just to have it all kind of go together. I'm using a bigger brush just because, I don't know, I didn't wanna use a smaller one. Also, I just kind of wanted it to like buff it out. So that's really loose and colorful. And then I'm gonna take this one that I'd use for the yellow and I'm gonna go into a little bit of Tipsy Girl, which was the pink that I used. And I'm gonna put that right through here just to pull some pink underneath. And then since I'm already at it and I'm like already going crazy with the makeup, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay Liner from their Wired Collection, which I never ever would use it's so crazy and I'm gonna throw some blue on my waterline okay this is better lighting I like, like look less ill look at that blue oh my god wait that kind of like tied the look together a little bit I should have had you guys here the whole time the eyeshadow looks so much better this way at least I think so it's also like hard to do makeup around eyelash extensions oh my god so fun into it i want to put glitter on i feel like it needs glitter i feel like it needs some sort of shine just because it's like so matte okay so i figured out what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the brush that i packed on the yellow i'm gonna go in with this gold color it's not yellow obviously but I think because it's gold, it'll make this look a little bit less like primary colors and a little bit more like sunset because it is a little bit more gold. I'm like not really obsessed with this shimmer. I don't really know what's happening to it. 
one, I'm like, I guess it looks okay. I'm like, no, nah. oh my god, my cut crease when you guys are this close does not look good, so. YOLO. It's just, like, not as shimmery as I wanted. It's just, like, compacting and, like, solidifying on my brush. But I guess it, it actually does add, like, a little something to the look. Yeah, I feel like that was definitely a good decision to add this on, actually. And then I'm gonna go in with my Bretman Rock Collection Highlighter. And I never really do this, but since I'm doing a full look, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna plop it on my inner tear duct. Wow, am I a beauty guru? <laughs> no, I'm not, but... I really did try, guys. Honestly, like... So, like, you have to give me credit for that. I'm taking this brush, whatever. I'm going into this palette, and I'm going down with BBDC. I don't know what that is. It's, like, a very, very dark purple color. And I'm putting it in my outer corner. It just needs more definition out here. And I'm, like, not obsessed with how it's just, like, kind of sitting. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of, like, there. Like, there's nothing, like, anchoring it down. See, I feel like that looks so much better than that. Then, I'm gonna take mascara that I never ever wear because I have eyelash extensions, but because of this look, it really needs the extra help to, like, anchor it down. Amazing! Now I just gotta do final touches! Oh, woo! Blush time. I've been obsessed with this glowy blush from the Becca and um, Chloe and Malika collection. It's actually no longer available, so... I'm so sorry if you missed out, because it's actually very good. It just like adds like a glowy, super pretty look to the face. I like always pull my blush around my nose. Like so like I almost like literally want to look like sunburn. Okay, so now that we're like up close and personal, you guys can like really see all the imperfections. I love, I love that for me. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some fake freckles. I feel like that'll like make this look so cute. I just used like this brush. I literally don't even know what it is. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's an 11 brush. And I just am dipping into my Anastasia um, pomade. So I have done this before where like I do it like when I'm doing my foundation and stuff, but I don't know. I did it the other day after and I kind of liked it. Okay, honestly, I don't know what just happened. I am just having so much fun with my makeup today, like truthfully. Like, this is something that I would, like, never, ever do. Like, literally, what? Like, to this extreme. Like, I'm literally just having fun because, like, I know I'm, one, not gonna leave the house. If I had to, like, I know I'm, like, do whatever you want. But, like, if I had to leave the house like this, I'd be a little bit anxious just because I know that people would just, like, stare. But whatever, like, fuck people, right? But, like, I don't know. I think this is actually kind of cute. Like, oh, my God, I'm, like, a little... I'm like little dolls so i'm gonna take this and just kind of bounce over them a little bit and just kind of like soak them into the skin even though i've powdered everything but the beauty blender is like just like a little damp still has a little bit of foundation on it if there's anything in particular it's like kind of dark you can just kind of target that one little area like so so then once the effects are done you are going to highlight so i'm going to take my little highlight brush dip into the bretman rock stuff again I love. Perfect. So now that you have all your facts on, everything like that's done, now you have to do lips. 
I was talking about Morphe lip liners earlier, so I'm going to use one in the color Love Bite. going kind of like with a bolder lip choice like it's nude but i'm still gonna add a lot of dimension so now i'm going in with the nyx retractable lip liner in vanilla sky it has a little bit of iridescence to it but i really want to do like a dope like dark liner lighter inside type blend moment with a gloss on top i think that'll look so good with this look i thought i pressed record and i didn't but i had gone on with those lip liners and then i went in with sarah hap um one Lux gloss it's called like literally the rose gold slip i put that on just dabbed a little bit of it on and then i went in with the unzip sheer silk lip gloss by laroc as well and this one is in shade buff and then i just dabbed that on over it i think that they look pretty good i would say so so i'm just going with some setting spray okay guys thank you so much for watching this was literally so fun to film and it was just so fun to have a good time with makeup while just sitting at home something to do i got to film a video out of it like it was just such a good time so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to comment down below if there's any new makeup that i need to try especially stuff from like color pop or i really been wanting to try stuff from huda beauty or just like anywhere just literally let me know what you guys think of that you guys should do a fun makeup look i love it i hope you guys liked it maybe you guys can try and do something inspired by this if you're into it like if you're not into it whatever and if you like fake freckles give those a try so yeah okay guys i love you so much don't forget to press that subscribe button thumbs up leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time bye